Hey guys, Dokim here. Just kidding, it's me. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be building something in this lovely ocean over here. So, uh, we've got lots and lots of space, but there's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is build a boat. So, that's what we're going to be doing today, and I'll take you over to the area which I'm thinking about doing it. So if we head over here, we have this island over here, which I'm going to turn into an organic. That's just not quite for this episode. I don't think we may get to it. Not sure yet, but I do want to build a boat out here. And what my plan is, is I'm going to bring a villager and I'm going to put him on this boat. And it's kind of going to be like a little trade boat that we can go and visit. So I want to make it an important villager so that we can go visit him quite a bit. Okay, I am in a little bit of a scenario here. I do not know where i put my shulkers i love having my shulkers but i'll tell you what i keep misplacing them they are all over the place i don't know where i set the one i'm looking for down there's a chance it's down in here oh you know what they're all hiding in here okay that's the one i'm looking for i'm pretty sure right yes there we go okay I was definitely looking for that one, but I think there's more in here, right? I think I put a bunch of them in here. Yes. Yep. There it is. Okay. What is... Okay. Some ores, dark blocks. And if you haven't watched the last episode, go ahead and check that out. We built this really cool shop, but I'm actually coming in here because I need some shears. So I don't remember which ones are the new ones. Is it these? Nope. What about these? There we go. Those are brand new. We're going to need these for something here but yeah go ahead and check out the episode where we built this shop all right i've decided i am going to put him right in this area over here and that will all make sense because uh, there's going to be lots of boats in this area so um, this is just the first one we're going to build and i've decided somewhere right where this transition of water is is going to be it so we are going to make this today out of uh spruce wood and um i forget what it's called but whatever the blue one is warped planks there we go um and so that's going to be one of our main blocks and so we can get all those set up i, I don't want to be too close to the shore and i do have to keep in mind we have this like underwater lab that we're building so i don't want it to be like you know in the way of that i think somewhere around right here is good so I think I'm going to do something like uh, right over this dark spot right here seems like a good area for it. So I'm just going to kind of build up so we have a platform to work with. Okay, Mr. Turtle in the boat, you are going to be transporting with us today. All right, in order to make this boat look like it is actually in the water, I'm going to place this first layer underneath it like this. All right, so we don't need any of that dirt anymore. And then um, there is going to be an interior to this boat. So I don't know how large the entire boat is going to be. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and see what is a good size here. I think something like this. Uh, maybe one more. And then we can start going up. Thinking like that. I just want to see what that looks like of uh, having all of that underwater, right? Because that's kind of the look that I'm going for, right? Is how much of the boat is underwater. So that's what that would be like. I think we could honestly droop it down a little more. So I'm going to go two blocks. And I'm going to droop it down like this. And we'll go two blocks from the end. And droop it down like that. And so now... Maybe we could do something like that. And that looks like the boat is underwater. Now, I just have to kind of calculate how this slope is going to be. I think if we go two up until the end, that's kind of the best way to do this. So it's going to be a little tricky to get it right. So I'm going to go uh, a block and then a slab and then two over. And then uh, this one should be a full block, if I'm not mistaken we can time this right yep oh you see that's not gonna work though place a slab on that full block then we'll go two and then we'll place two slabs and then one two and three then two slabs one two and three and then i think oh that is gonna be huge <laughs> that is not <laughs> okay hold on a little bit of a miscalculation here. I don't know if the ship needs to be that big. Um, 
I think that's about like the the appropriate size there. What? Oh, it's glitching out. I don't think it needs to be any bigger than that right there. That is a that is gonna be like a massive boat. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of most boats have this anyways, where like the other side uh, where the captain's cabin is kind of slopes off. But this isn't gonna be like one of those big boats with a giant sail. So, um, I'm just going to try and smooth this ending off as much as possible so um it is even but i don't think i like that slope as much so what i'm gonna do is kind of slope it off a little bit more something like this i think we should put a um a slab on this one and carry it over like that and then now those are on the same level if i'm not mistaken right all right, there we go. That's much better. So now it kind of easily slopes off like that, right? And it uh, meets the same level towards the end there. So now we just have to round it off, which uh, shouldn't be very difficult. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Um, so what I'm going to do to round it off like that is place all of this dirt so that we have something to work off of. And I am just going to basically slab up... Um, Kind of like a staircase. Think of it like you're building a staircase sideways. That's the best way to explain that in my head, at least. And so every time we have a block like this, what you need to do is um, you can see this one uh, is a slab here. So we're going to have to place a block and then go out like that. And then unfortunately, this one's going to have to get destroyed um, and then we can replace the slab. So we're basically just going to be doing that a bunch um, right there. We're lucky, so we can just place the slab on top. And uh, making boats is a little bit of a difficult thing when it comes to the actual like slope and design of it. So um, actually probably an easier way to do this is exactly what I just did there. So when we go up the half step, just place a block and then just place one like this. And then you can just get rid of that temporary block. And now we have uh, this whole little situation right here. So uh, I'm going to continue doing that here. All right. So we went like this here. So now we can just place slabs all the way down over here and then uh, we have to think about how we're going to do this as well right that could be a little tricky um but uh the main thing is i want to have a platform that they can walk on over here so i want to make it um kind of like there's an area out here that they could walk so honestly making this part of the boat is 100 percent the hardest <laughs> out of anything um because we just need to get everything on the same floor level so um that's what this whole purpose is right here so these guys are all going to line up and now they should be at the same floor level like so so you can see everything is kind of at this floor level right now i just hope that it's a full block and it is because you can see that this is like that right there so that's exactly what we want so now um what we have to do is I just want to think about how much more I want to take this outward. Okay, so now we have this kind of shape. I need to look at it from a distance. I need to see uh, what it looks like if it's exactly what I'm going for. So, and take a look here. And that's pretty good. It doesn't look too awkward or anything like that. So we can always mess around with the shape, um, which I'm definitely going to do. Uh, especially like right here. Like I would love for this to be more um, outwards. I don't know if it needs one block or two block, but I want to have that pointed front end of the ship. And honestly, I think that's a pretty good shape. It's not too awkward looking. It looks pretty natural. Okay, so now comes the fun part. And that was I want to design the sides. So uh, I purposely made the edge full blocks here because that means we can add some details to it so what i'm gonna do is uh this is just a pattern i want to try i don't know if i'm going to keep it but i'm going to do um alternating birch doors with spruce slabs here i just really hope it lines up yes it does okay awesome so uh now i want to place things like this right here and what i was planning on doing is having these be like this and uh, I have no idea how that's going to look, but I would like to see if we hop in our uh, Mr. Sea Turtle boat here. 
yeah i think that's what i'm going for there that's going to look really nice all the way around so now we just have to get it to look somewhat normal all the way around which may not be the easiest thing in the world but that's a cool little uh design there for the side and um what i'm referencing this boat off of i think that's going to work really nicely all right pretty good now it has a little design on it uh next thing we need to do is fill in the floor i think i'm going to do something like this i'm going to have it kind of taper off towards the end here um like so i think that should be fine um and then one on this block and then it's going to continue outwards um and it's going to run along this line until i think about maybe right here or so that's a much better much better shape for it i think that is way 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 better because um it was just far too small uh what i was picturing last time so uh, now we can build this up. I think I'm going to go three high. All right. We can make all of these logs stripped because these are our foundation beams. And now what I want to try is I think I am going to use mangrove wood for this. I think that would be cool, but I'm only going to use it as like a, um, as a trim. So uh, I think I'm going to go like this here. We're going to kind of do the same similar thing we did in the tunnels. So I'm going to make like a, a circle shape and then take the two trap doors and put them like that. So we have a circle. And then how I'm going to do it for the rest of the sides is I'm just going to place uh, full blocks like this here. Now I'm thinking... If we use this as the wall, that's a very nice purple block. I think that could be cool. What does it look like from the outside? That's what that looks like there. All right, and now we need to make a roof for this little hut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use dark oak slabs here. All right, so let's make some scaffolding so we can get up there. And this is what I'm thinking is... I'm going to place dark oak slabs like so, and I'm going to have this angle upwards um, like this, like the following. I want it to be quite a sloped roof. I don't want it to have like a, a super sharp angle. So I think I'm going to try two first. So that would be something like the following. All right. So if we hop up here and fill the rest of those in... Yeah, that's about what I was going for right there. So um, now it has like a nice. If I didn't fall in the water, you would have been able to see. <laughs> now it has like a nice uh, sloped roof right there. So we can fill that in. And now we just have to design something for the back here. So um, this is where the wall tapers inwards. And so uh, I think we're going to do a different roof design and maybe something different back here. This is probably where the villager's bed is going to be. So what I'm going to do is uh, obviously I just want to taper this wall in. I'm just not sure I'm going to design that. I think I'm going to use spruce wood, something like this. I think that's our best option. And then what we can do is place a temporary block like this and um, grab our slabs and then we can just fill in this roof right here like so yeah i'd say that's fine it's not too weird looking or anything like that um we could do some design there to make it look better this is obviously this is just the basic shape right now right it's not really um a finished product or anything so i'm liking that so far that looks pretty good all right, and one detail I really wanted to add here was uh, banners in the front. I wanted to make it look like it was curtains um, draped down. So that's why I have these guys right here. And um, I don't really have any like order that I wanted them to be in, but I just kind of wanted to have them alternate. So uh, these are going to have to be dropped down one here. And uh, I didn't want that one to be on this block. I wanted it to be on the one below. So I think I'm actually going to go Scion in the middle and do something like that and now it's kind of got like those i keep doing that dude why do i keep doing that oh man now i'm all soaked um but yeah now you can see uh, we have like these curtains draping off the front it looks uh very mysterious 
and I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then I would love to add more of these on the outside, but I'm not sure where I want to put this one yet, so I'm just going to keep it. In the image I'm referencing, uh, they have barrels as like an anchor slash buoy that's like getting the boat to float. So I'm going to make some barrels and we are going to attach them to each other. And that's going to be our little floating device. I think right here on this block like that, because then, yeah, now we can do the chains and I'm going to have to place a temporary block, but I'm going to place this dirt here and then place the barrel like this. And the barrels are going to be placed like that, like so. And that is kind of like making the boat float, if you will. I might add a few more. I think I'm going to add a few more, but that's pretty good right there. I think I'm happy with that. So there's our barrels on the outside. I like the way that the ship is looking so far. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I would like to add some more details, though. So um, I'm thinking I would love to have, like, he's storing stuff on the roof of the actual ship i think that would be cool and then we obviously need a way to get up here we don't have a way to get up here yet so uh that's next okay i would like to try something here i want more detail on this roof i'm just not sure how this is going to look but i'm going to alternate some design like this oh but that's not even that could end very poorly let's take a look from a distance it's okay, but it definitely needs to be one longer if I'm going to do that. So I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to extend that roof one block just so that it's even with that pattern. This will all make sense in a second why I am doing this, and it's because I'm trying to hang stuff off of the roof. And I would love to be able to hang stuff if, um, you know, we had these full blocks here. So that's why I'm choosing to extend the roof because now we can do that and what i'm thinking would be a great thing to add is a bell so i'm gonna go to a village and find some bells if i'm not mistaken i believe there is a village off in this direction right on the coastline here hello sir do you have a bell for me are you stuck do you need me to free you sir do you mind if i have that can i take it and I need one more, and I think it is over in this direction, just this way. I'm not sure what I was trying to do here, but uh, this place did exist at one point, and I planned to stay here for a long time, and then eventually I just left and got bored of it. But I'm thinking, in one of these chests, I have a bell. Now that I think about it, these grindstones would be a great decoration block. You guys need to be freed. You look like you're stuck. There you go. All right, let's see what it looks like from a distance for the first time. There it is. That's pretty cool. That's about what I was envisioning. Um, but I definitely want to add more. I want to add lots of stuff on the top here because I think that's going to bring it to life. But the reason I went to those villages was to get the bells because I'm going to hang them from right here. Not right there. Uh, what I was thinking is we could just make some sort of design here by like hanging stuff off of this. But I want two more bells to put right keep doing that anyways if you saw me going crazy for the grindstones in the village it was because even though we have chains i think these suit the build even more i just have to get them to be in the orientation that i want which is that and we can just if i can get this right place them like that because that looks like huge chains so i think that is a much better look for this so i'm going to keep the grindstones there and we can get our chains back Alrighty, there is our boat and we have what we are looking for which is this right here so that was a, a little bit of a journey to get those things but i'm happy we were able to get it done because it really just makes it that much better of a build so now we can copy this on this side i was wondering what it would look like if i like dangled some chains off the bottom of this I think it looks pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do it for everyone, but I'm only going to do it for those two right there. I think that's a, a cool little pattern there. So we'll take a swim around it once I finish this one right here to see what that looks like. And the whole reason I'm doing that is just to kind of break up any repetitive patterns, right? Even though we're doing the same thing, we're just trying to make it ever so slightly different. So we have stuff like that. I think that really kind of um, emphasizes that piece right there. It makes it look a lot better. Um, we could add some detail 
in the back here um, to kind of switch that up. But yeah, I really like those chains there so far. And I, I just, I love the whole design of this, right? I think it looks really cool. It's very, um, I don't know what the exact word would be, but it just looks cool. It looks adventurous. It looks mysterious. And that's kind of the whole point. All right, so to break up this repetitive pattern of the blue underneath the boat, I'm going to add some spruce trap doors on the alternating block. So this one right here in between the trap doors, and I think that's going to help kind of just add some more details to the bottom of the boat. All right, I'm heading up to the roof because I want to make it look like the uh, the villager that is here is like storing his items or stuff on the roof. So I'm just hoping... Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a full block. So we might be able to do it on the side here. So um, uh, I just need to think about where exactly I want to place this stuff. But I would like to have some, uh, you know, maybe there's like some scaffolding up here that he is uh, storing. So we'll add some of that. And then I would love to add uh, some barrels. I'm going to add a chest here. Um, and I'm placing them on this side, right? Because... Uh, this is where we're going to be seeing the boat from mostly. So um, I would love to add some of that. And then uh, maybe some barrels here as well. Like so. Like he's uh, stacking those up top. And then we can just add like some trap doors here. It kind of looks like extra wood. And then uh, I definitely want to have a campfire up here. So that there's smoke coming off of the roof. I'm going to add it right in the very back here. Um, probably somewhere around right uh i think maybe right there would be good and i'm kind of just gonna find a bunch of stuff like we have these lanterns up here i think we could add some of these kind of just um plopped around everywhere all right so this is a pretty cool one i thought about so the acacia trap doors look like a crate of some sort so i was thinking if i just kind of take it and like uh stack it like this this one's gonna be a little tricky to get we'll have to get that block back in a second but if we just kind of take them like this it looks like a uh like an actual crate of i don't know maybe it holds like lobster or food or something i thought that was uh pretty interesting if we take a step back here and look at that i think that looks pretty cool and then how about this we could do the same thing on the other side except this one is a little bit bigger so we can use the full doors this time like so I need to go back to the house to retrieve something because I just thought of another really cool one. I think it's in here. Yes, it is. I don't know how I just remembered that. <laughs> I think it does need a little bit more stuff sitting on the roof here, but that's what I grabbed this stuff for. So I wanted to... Um... Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, actually, you know what I think we can do to fix that is just go in here and just add this one on that block. It, it looks a little weird, but it'll at least... Um... Actually, we could even do it for this one. No, we can't. What am I talking about? All right, so now that just means we can place stuff on this block, which I wanted to place some kelp in there because the kelp, um, I don't know, it's very ocean feeling to me. So I wanted to place another one over here. Like, uh, I don't know, the kelp is just being stored out in the front of the boat. And then I would love to display some armor in here. I just want to have like things everywhere in here. All right, so now we need to do a little bit of designing for the actual place inside here, which is going to be a little tricky. All right, and we can make a barrel for him and just put it out here. And I'm actually going to have to store some stuff in here for a second. My inventory is totally out of whack. All right, so then we can add the purple bed in there like that. And then the lectern is going to be right there. And then we can add our... Um, this is just an experiment for now. Maybe something like that. I don't know what we're going to do for the actual, like, wall bit here. But we got to get a villager in here. And so I think uh, having this there for him is going to be nice. And we can just destroy that and add another bed in there. So now he's got, like, this little rug in here that he can sit on. All right, I think these hanging signs could be cool if we do it in the right orientation. I'm just not sure where to hang them from might actually move this and put them in the corner here but i was thinking if we did some sort of pattern like uh not like this but if you how do i do this you got to get them diagonal it doesn't want to go 
But if we just do something like this here, I think that's a cool kind of design. I think just probably putting some barrels out here is the best way to go about it. Just make it look like there's more uh, more stuff going on out here, like he's storing things and whatnot. So uh, we have that now, which leaves us with the hardest part. We've got to get a villager in here, but I would say that's pretty much our build so far. So that's what we ended up with. I really like how that turned out. I think it looks really cool. It's very adventurous. Uh, very mystical, but there is one more thing I want to add, which I think is going to be really cool. So let's go get it. Oh, man. I absolutely love how this ship turned out. That looks so cool. Oh, man. I'm in love with it. But I would love to add a map. So I actually have to fill this out first. So that's what we're going to do now. Flower pots. I got this fishing rod that we could throw in here as well. Um, and I don't know, just a bunch of little things that we'll add in here over time. Uh, definitely want a brewing stand as well, but I don't want to put that in here just yet because we've got to get the villager in here. So, uh, that's the next part of the video. That's going to be the most challenging part, I would say. So we have to figure out a way to get a villager in this actual, uh, thing, which isn't going to be the easiest thing in the world. So let's try and do that. Uh, I don't really need new tools. I would love to have the name tag guy in there. I think that's the one I'm going to grab. Uh, so now I just got to figure out a way of how am I going to get this guy out of here? Okay. So we'll let you loose and you can hop in there and, uh, put this in here and then this can just go like this. All right. So then we're going to have to go in here and dig that out and that's going to go in there and then patch that up and hopefully... That should become a bubble column. Kind of trap him in there and get him in the boat. Break the boat. Then you're going to go in there. Okay, trap him in there. Don't need this anymore. And then we have to run to the surface. Okay, he's like drowning for some reason. All right, so you come up here. That works. That works. Yep, okay. And then we'll get you in the boat. There you go. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a process here. A little bit of a process. All right, my friend, we are taking you to your new home. So here you go. Hopefully, just hopefully, he climbs that scaffolding and doesn't start making a beeline right back to his thing. I need you to go up there. Can you climb that stuff? Yeah, I know the trap doors are a problem. Yes, he's going in. There you go. The door's open for you. Okay, the trap doors are not... Buddy. Alright, buddy. If you don't mind me, I can just close all that stuff now. Alright, he should he should be good to go. He should be good to go now. Alright, and all of his stuff should be the same. Yes, it is. Alright, my friends. We have transported the villager over to his boat. I love it. Okie dokie, we can take a little swim around. I think we pretty much completed this thing. I absolutely love it. I love it. What I don't love is the dragon head at the end. I'm actually going to take that off. I just don't think it really uh, fits all that much. All right, and as we finish our little boat here, that means it's time to answer the comment of the day, which comes from the Rad Rooster yet again. I think he was in a previous episode, and he asks, what are your future plans for this world? So, um, yeah, this is something I just kind of wanted to ramble about for a little bit because um, I don't really have any plans for this world. Uh, there's a few things that I would like to finish, like that uh, – um, city project that I started over there. It's going to be much, much bigger than that, but, um, just kind of wanted to have like a whole separate Island that we could work on if I ever got bored of that. But really this world, think of it as like, this is kind of like my art poor. My brain just completely stopped working. Think of this as kind of like my art portfolio. So Everything that I want to do in this world is kind of just like a painting in itself. So they're all just like different little paintings that you can walk through. And so probably once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I think is when I'm going to do the first world download because there's so much I want to finish. It's just too early in my opinion to release one because I want to have this castle finished before I do that. I, want, I would like to get somewhat of that finished over there 
um, and especially this underwater section. There's just so many unfinished things that I want to do. But um, yeah, I think the biggest thing so far is that I just want to like make art pieces in this world. I just want to build things that are like, um, you know, pictures or paintings that you can walk through. So that's really my future plans. I would like to start another bigger base at some point, but it all just depends on how I'm feeling that day when I wake up, right? I don't really have any plans when I wake up to, you know, do something in a super structured and organized way. I don't have any recording specific days or anything. I kind of just wake up and if I feel like playing, then I log on and I play. So um, that's kind of how my world is planned out and a lot of these builds are put together in that manner so yeah i would say those are my future plans for this world is that it just depends on how i'm feeling on the day and whatever brings inspiration to me that's what i end up building so um this if you haven't noticed uh which i would be very surprised if you did because um that props to you if you did <laughs> but in my childhood i played a game on the gamecube called zelda the wind waker and in that game, there was a wandering trader by the name of Beetle who was on a boat and he would sail on his boat and would provide items for you throughout the world. And you would run into him randomly. And this boat is basically that. That's what I pictured when I was building this is because I thought it would be so cool to have a villager out on a boat that I could trade with. And so that is what I ended up building here. And I absolutely love how it turned out. So um, yeah, go ahead and look up Beetle uh, in Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's spelled B-E-E-D-L-E, -E -E, I think. Um, and so you'll, uh, you'll pretty much see where this came from. So that was the idea behind this. And that is how basically all of these builds are in this world. They're just things that I see randomly that I decide that I want to build in Minecraft. So yeah, I don't really have a whole ton of plans for my world i kind of just play on it and see what happens anyways i think that's about it for this video don't really have anything else to go over so i hope you guys enjoyed today's build and uh yeah that's about it